Hey everyone, got something a little bit different for you this week and I've been looking at a new piece of software I found called Notch. Well, I don't think it's new, but it's new to me and I thought I'd share it with you and you can take a look and see if it's something you might like. This actually popped up on my Instagram feed, this software called Notch, and I was a little bit familiar with it anyway, and because familiar with the, the events industry and the live events industry, and it's used a lot to kind of power some of those big kind of monitor experiences that are either interactive or just kind of in the background. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Notch, it's a way to create amazing motion graphics and interactive VFX in real time. And they've got a section here I'll made with Notch. And if you go ahead and have a look at that, some really cool kind of case studies where they're going to breaking down just how they've managed to create some of these immersive displays. This is really what I've seen Notch do really well. These large multi-screen displays in huge kind of areas and it just looks awesome. And I've always been interested in what's driving that and that's what got me onto Notch. But it wasn't until I started looking a little bit more into Notch that you can actually use it to create VR experiences. And I thought, awesome, let's take a look. And I saw that they had released their builder, the Notch Builder application for free. It's a demo version, so you can't save in it or export or build, but you can play with it and, and get used to how Notch works. I downloaded the software by going to Notch Builder and you can see here, try or buy. So by going to try, you can see they've got a free version where anyone that wants to get a taster of what Notch is can download it for free. So I did that and then loaded up the application and this is what I saw first. I followed a couple of YouTube videos but I found that just looking in the samples was probably the, the best place to look. Lots of things for you to have a look at here but in the samples if you go and scroll down to interactive purple particles I thought this was really cool. So you can double click that and it's going to load up this sample and this has come with the demo and to get started just having a look at what this starts out like you can go ahead and hit play and it's going to fire up here so what you see down here in the node graph because notch is all kind of node based which is really cool it's kind of artist friendly you can drop all these nodes in and create different effects and this one's creating this particle system whereby if i go ahead and click my left mouse button it's going to track my cursor and i can interact with those particles and you can imagine this being on a kind of giant screen um, that people can interact with, come along and touch and do all sorts of funky stuff. I then saw that you could activate a VR headset with this and I thought, ooh, that would be quite cool. So I had a look at what nodes I could use to have a look at this in VR. And if you, the nodes has a drop down here where you can select what node you want. I had a look at what was available and they have a VR, VR headset camera. So I dropped that into the scene and I connected it up to the root. And then I went ahead and turned off the region camera for a minute and then activated the VR headset view. Now that meant I couldn't see anything and I needed to bring back the Z position of my player. But now when I put my headset on, you can see that I've got this massive particle wall in front of me and you can just imagine kind of being uh, in an event and this was like the screen in front of you and you're in a room and you can have a look and watch what was going on. I can just I can bring that up, down a bit so you can see a little bit easier. But then I thought, how cool would it be if I could interact with that wall in the same way you did with the mouse? So I had a look what was going on with the mouse, and they've got a mouse point array here. So I went to the nodes and I looked for the interactions, and at the very bottom they had a VR controller node. So I dropped that in the scene, looked at where it's connected up to and it's connected to the root so I hooked it up to there dragged it down I haven't, see I haven't quite figured out the viewport yet but we're learning together and then I saw that they connected the mouse point array into this null object and this 3D sphere so when I was clicking on here we saw that 3D sphere pop up so I can go ahead and connect it to that so that that's going to track my controller now so if I jump back into my VR view I click on my VR controller you can see that it's tracking the left touch controller so when I pick up my controller on the left hand, you can see that that sphere is tracking my controller really well. So my camera is a bit far away from the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and move that a bit closer. So you can see when I reach out and touch it, I can actually interact with it. Now, what's happening with the mouse is that the input's going into this array. Let's bring that down there. So these little nodes, the mouse point array, are plugged into the array here 
and you can see I've got these little light things that come on. I couldn't drop the VR controller into the little node I needed to, it's, it's greyed out, so it's obviously not a valid input source. So I had a look for another node and I used one called Transform, which allowed me to drag in my VR controller to the Transform node and then out to the Array Copy node. And then now in VR, I can use my controller and interact with all these particles in the scene. Which, if I stand back, you can see what's happening. Woo! Which is really cool. Millions of particles just able to interact with. With the added effect, like in, in an event space, this would just be a screen, like a 2D experience. But in VR, you can suddenly have all this depth and you can pull it, pull it around you and suddenly, suddenly becomes very mesmerizing. Really awesome stuff. But because this is only a demo, I can't save or export. So once I close this down, my beautiful creation is lost forever. If you'd like to see more of this type of video where we look at different kinds of software, leave a comment, put a thumbs up on the video, and if you're not already, then please consider a subscription. But thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.